Sarah Johnson, and I am the high school all county coordinator and the band director at North Fort Myers High School. <laughs> we are honored tonight to have an incredible high school clinician join us. I'm not going to read it to you, but you can read his um, very impressive accomplishments in your program. What's not in that program is that he is incredibly kind and incredibly humble. In fact, when I when I was speaking to him about, well, how do you want me to introduce you tonight? He said, oh, just say I'm some, I'm some guy from Orlando. Um, <laughs> and he is so much more than that. Uh, he is one of the most impactful and sought after educators in the state of Florida. And he's currently taking Timber Creek High School to a new and extremely impressive heights each year. Um, so please help us welcome Red Cox and the High School All-County Band.
evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Louis Fisher, and I'm the director of instrumental music at Gateway High School. I've been given the distinct pleasure of introducing our next piece of music. Though originally written for Coral Arts Northwest, this work has taken on a new life in light of the many atrocities in our world. Jonathan Talberg, the conductor of the choir at Cal State Long Beach, led his singers in a performance during the memorial vigil for Nomi Gonzalez, a Long Beach student who was killed in the 2015 Paris attacks. The day after the vigil, the choir was supposed to begin rehearsing holiday music. However, Jonathan felt that was not appropriate and wanted time for uh, the singers to grieve. At the beginning of the rehearsal, he passed out a brand new piece of music, Let My Love, excuse me, Let My Love Be Heard. They rehearsed it and then recorded it. The recording was shared with the Long Beach community in memory of Nomi and as a plea for peace. Their music offering is a powerful outpouring of grief, but also a glimmer of light. The composer wrote, I am honored that this piece, Let My Love Be Heard, has helped to provide hope in the darkness of our world. Originally composed for four-part choir, this work is based on, on a poem entitled, A Prayer. In that light, our conductor this evening asked our students to write a memorial of sense um, in honor of this piece to, uh, to those that they know. I'm playing this piece for my father who passed away in 2018. He was never able to see who I've become as a person and musician. Let my love be heard to wherever you are. I'm playing for my mom, all the parents that we have lost too soon, and all the kids they left behind. I'm playing for Dan Miller, a powerful force of a trumpet player, a fantastic educator, an encyclopedia on jazz and baseball, and most of all, an open and kind human being. Thank you for being an inspiration and a friend to all who had the joy of knowing you. I'm playing this piece for my dad. We've been through a lot of hard times in my life, and he has always been the person there to pick me up when I fall. I hope he knows how much I recognize and appreciate all he does for me every day, and I hope he knows how much I love him. I'm playing this piece tonight for my pop. I hope you know how much mom loves and misses you. I love you. I'm performing this piece tonight for a family friend who saved me from a very dark place during quarantine. They passed away a year after the lockdowns, and I always contemplate and remember them with love and honor. I play tonight for my younger sister. As I sat by your bedside while you lay still, I hope that wherever you were, you knew I was with you. I was waiting for your smile to come back to me. A prayer. Angels where you soar, up to God's own light. Take my own lost bird on your hearts tonight. And as grief once more mounts to heaven and sings, let my love be heard, whisper in your wings. It is my distinct honor to present the 2022 Lee County Honor Man under the direction of Mr. Cox in the play of Let My Love Be Heard.
Thank you very much. Uh, I'm, we've got two selections left. Uh, I'll save my my thank yous and all of the uh, all of the kudos for these amazing students uh, for the last piece. Um, quick explanation about this next one. Uh, this is Ghost Dances by Roland Barrett. And uh, this is subtitled Wounded Knee 1890. And this is about the uh, massacre of over 300 Lakota Sioux Indians um, in December of 1890. And the very quick version of the backstory is the US government had ordered our soldiers to surround uh, these individuals and get them to essentially give up um, their weapons and their freedom. And uh, the morning of December 29th of 1890, they acted on those orders, and the U.S. Uh, soldiers essentially got uh, 300 of these Lakota Sioux Indians into uh, essentially a, just a very large circle in which they had them pile all their weapons, everything, all their guns and all their knives and all their belongings. And in uh, a, a cruel twist of fate, one of the Lakota Sioux guns as they were sitting on the pile accidentally discharged and it created uh, a situation where the soldiers thought they were being fired on and so just kind of out of instinct they started to fire into the circle of the Lakota Sioux Indians that were in there and with the smoke had cleared essentially all of them had been uh, had been killed and this is um, this is a depiction of that atrocity this is a depiction of musically of um, just a, a terrible chapter in our history and um, something that the students have done a good job, a really good job. It's a difficult piece. Um, they, there's, a, there's a section um, uh, about a minute and a half in that with just kind of explanation here. It's called aleatoric music and it's essentially uh, free form. It's I won't really be conducting per se. It's done more by time and seconds than it is by like any kind of conducting pattern that we might show. And so um, we're going to start it in the flute section and it's going to kind of move through the woodwinds. But what they're doing is, is they're playing a fragment of um, the Lakota Sioux ghost dance, a melodic fragment from that, um, from a dance that was um, uh, part of the culture of that tribe. And uh, they get to play it at whatever speed they want and kind of however fast or however slow and it kind of becomes a this very chaotic thing as you can imagine and then there, the, the piece kind of moves on at that point. So. Um, but it's an aleatoric, uh, it's, a, it's a challenging piece, a lot of individual responsibility. The students have handled it remarkably well, considering we just met 24 hours ago. So, um, so impressed with them. We'll, we'll save that for our last piece. So we hope you enjoy Ghost Dances by Roland Barrett.
Farms is just uh, how, uh, how honored we are to be here. And uh, just how much your support means. Your kids are amazing. Um, I, had a, I talked with these students um, after our lunch break today. And uh, besides being very humbled to be here and to have the opportunity to be with such talent on the stage, to be trusted with it for about 24 hours or so, um, I told them, I said, you know, I, I, I've been so impressed, not just by them as musicians and them as people, um, but what your community has endured over the last couple of months um, it is awe-inspiring, um, kind of watching from Orlando and thinking about you guys and, and wondering how things were going, driving into the community here um, yesterday afternoon and seeing, you know, clearly the effects still. Uh, it is incredible what you guys are, uh, how, you, how you are persevering, what you're doing, how you're doing it. These students are up here making music um, and uh, hopefully putting some of that behind them for at least a little while and they find this as an oasis from it all. But um, I've been um, I've been very moved by them. I've been very moved by their effort um, and just who they are as people, certainly as musicians as well. You have amazing, amazing kids. So if you are a parent of one of these amazing, awesome kids up here on stage, would you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Thank you again. 